And by the way, don't forget the queen has never met Lily, right. Lily, their, their daughter, uh, and neither is Charles. So is that really the only capacity where we might see Harry coming back to help is if there was sort of a Regency situation? I think he, uh, you know, he's, he's out of the picture now. I, he can't even get royal protection anymore. And of course, he supports right now fighting for that. Um, and he's been criticized for because, you know, Charles has uh, quietly invited him uh, to come to, to London and stay when he comes to London with his family to stay at Clarence House. That way he would be, you know, uh, protected by the people who protected Charles. But the way it now, as you well know, uh, the only people who really get full time protection are the heirs to the throne and the queen. So it's William uh, and um, uh, uh, and Charles and, that's, and the queen and that's it. Uh, the other royals get uh, protection when they're on, you know, royal assignments doing their, their job. And Harry has declined. He's backed out. And so he's the home office. Uh, it says he doesn't he's not entitled to protection. And so Harry is stewing uh, to overturn that decision. I think he was really spooked in uh, when he went to unveil the uh, statue of Diana um, last uh, year. I mean, he just uh, was apparently pursued through the streets by paparazzi. It reminded him, you know, I mean, you know he has PTSD symptoms from his earlier uh, encounters with the press and his mother's death. And, and uh, it was just, I think it just triggered him. So he does not want to go back to England without his family getting the full protection from uh, Royal Protection Services of Scotland Yard. Right. I mean, do you think it's fair? Do you think that he should get this protection? Uh, I, I mean, it's kind of hard. You know, you feel for him on one case, but you understand the rules and the other, but you want him to see his family again. I would think, you know, as Americans, we would just bend the rule. <laughs> <laughs> you know, of course, <laughs> just do it, you know, and, and, and uh, let him come back. But uh, I, I think there's also an element here of, of you know, those are the rules and uh, and of punishment. I don't I don't think they're happy that he's taken this. You know, I think they you, you made your bed and now you have to lie. And that's the, uh, the attitude of the people who run the monarchy. Mm hmm. So do you think, when do you think we'll see him again? I mean, might we see him for Prince Philip's memorial service? Or do you think unless this is hammered out, we probably won't see them back in the UK for a long time? Well, you know, the memorial service is going to be another problem because it's on March 29th uh, at, at the Westminster Abbey. It's a, a Thanksgiving service, if you will. And it's, uh, you know, it, he can't really, I don't see him going because it would undermine his case that, you know, this is still a threat to his safety and the safety of his family. Uh, however, that will only deepen, you know, the wound, widen the, 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 the chasm between him and his family. So um, I think he's, uh, it's a dilemma. And then of course, the bigger dilemma is what happens at the Jubilee. I think he has to go to the Jubilee with the family uh, right. celebrations in early June. So this has to be hammered up by then. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you know, because you said, you know, Prince Charles did invite him to come quietly stay with him. If he traveled to these events with Prince Charles, with Prince William, he'd still get that protection protection because almost by association. Right. So why wouldn't that? Why wouldn't he do something like that? Well, I know. I know. So it's, so everybody is kind of like, uh, you know, uh, drawing a line in the stand. I think a lot of pride is involved, frankly. Mm -hmm. And uh yeah, I mean, it's just, I, th I think, in essence, if if he does get royal protection, it will kind of be an acknowledgement by the Crown, too, that he's still a working member of the family. So it's an interesting uh, PR game as much as anything else. Yeah, definitely. It is a, it's very interesting. I mean, we, yeah, we have not seen Meghan for quite some time either, it seems like. It seems like she's been kind of MIA for a while. Do you have any idea of what she's been kind of working on, what she's what she's doing? Well, they're putting all of their energy apparently into this uh, Spotify podcast that they're doing for one of their many deals. You know, mm -hmm. it's supposed to be a, a weekly series about, uh, um, I believe it's weekly, uh, of, about uh, high profile women. And they're out, they've already, they're advertising for producers and, and doing that sort of thing. And they do have their Archwell Foundation and mm -hmm. they work on that. But uh, I think what's eating up a lot of their time right now is this legal fight with the home office uh, in Great Britain trying to get the protection they think they deserve. Mm -hmm. And by the way, don't forget the Queen has never met Lily, right. Lily, their, their daughter, uh, and neither is Charles. Uh, in the flash, I've done, they've certainly done a video, but that's not, a, I think, only one briefly. So, um, you know, it would be nice to kind of once again uh, introduce his brood to the larger family. Yeah, definitely.